So last July, July 8th of 2017, a horrible thing happened. I turned 50. And at about the six month point leading up to it, I started thinking, holy shit, this is actually gonna happen. I felt a little bit, I kept thinking of, mm, uh, Mia Farrow in Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> when she thinks she's dreaming that the devil's having sex with her. And she screams out, oh my God, this is no dream. This is actually happening. And as the days pass by and July 8th starts to approach, I really don't know what to do. I don't know how to live. Uh, I mean, I'm mortality obsessed anyway, and this is, this is really happening. When I was 18, I read this book uh, by Tolstoy, The Death of Ivan Illich. And he says, you know, he gets mortally wounded and he thinks, wait a minute, I can't die. You know, Masha who plays with the, with the little red ball does not die, you know. Masha who's no good at math, you know. And with my morbid temperament, this too is running through my mind, leading up to my, my birthday. And people are saying, are you gonna celebrate your birthday? And we end up, do, we end up having a party, and it was fine, it was a big party. And there were people there over 50 who were, who were saying, I would say to them, is it, I mean, how is it, you know, <laughs> on the other side? <laughs> and they're all laughing, oh, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. It gets better. And then people under 50 are coming up to me and saying, how is it to be 50? I'm like, I don't, I can't tell you yet, I don't know. decided to share a room with some people. Three bunk beds, possible six guys in one room. Turns out it was only four, which is good. Uh, one of them, Hungarian guy, very nice guy, came on a bus of Hungarians. Uh, his younger brother, who I thought was very rude, but he was uh, autistic. <laughs> And 
And then under me, in my bunk, was a very nice guy from India, studying to be a priest in Paris. And I thought, great, we're all here. I'm here for a breakthrough. Let's have this, you know? We're these spiritual warriors. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, we're putting the, leaving the, the material world behind us. We go to sleep that night. Looking forward to the next day. We're going to have a talk by the, by the monk in the morning. Then we'll go to our little breakout groups and talk about whatever he talked about. <laughs> so the first night I go to sleep. I'm like, great, this is great. Fall asleep. In my dreams, I start to hear like a chainsaw. And I slowly wake up and I'm like, I didn't even think about this. Somebody is snoring. I am here to have my spiritual experience and somebody, I need my rest. I need my eight hours for my spiritual experience. And it's coming from below me. And I peek down, and this fucking idiot who's studying to be a priest is snoring like a tractor, like so loud. And I'm, I just I jump out of bed, and I'm standing by him, and I'm like, and I'm like, I am ready to shake him or kick the bed. I'm like, this is something. I am here to have a spiritual experience. I came here to have a breakthrough. So I stand there for a good five minutes. And I'm like, you know what? It's a good time. It's a good time to change how you react to things. Let's go outside. I go outside. It's very hot during the day. It's freezing cold at night. We're up on a hill. I walk around. I breathe. I can see my breath. It's the middle of August. I look up at the sky. Beautiful stars everywhere. I do a lot of breathing. I go back in. I'm still snoring. <laughs> Hungarian guys, no problem. Sleep right through it. I crawl up in my bed. I finally put to use uh, the noise canceling headphones my wife gave me. Click them on. I can still hear them a little. But the problem is, I can't, they're so big, I can't turn my head. So I delay completely on my back, like a robot. Plus, I have a hat on to further cancel. So I'm laying like a zombie, trying to relax, thinking peaceful thoughts. I didn't really sleep well. I get up in the next morning, and I see the Hungarian guys, and I'm like, hey, he's a, what's this? He's a nice guy, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. You think he snores a little? What do you think? <laughs> go, to, go to see the monk talk, have lunch, go to our breakout sessions. I'm out of it. I'm kind of walking stressed. I know tonight I got to go back in the bunker with the Indian Parisian priest. And so I, I get through the day. It's a good day, but I'm out of it because I'm, I'm drowsy. But I'm feeling all right. You know, I'm feeling kind of relaxed. And then uh, I go to bed that night. I put in my noise canceling headphones. I lay in my zombie position. All asleep. Don't sleep well again. I can still kind of hear them, but I'm getting used to it. I'm kind of, it feels very homey. <laughs> I'm on a, a little hill in France, two Hungarian guys and a, an Indian French priest, and I feel like this is really great. We're really in this together. And then the next day, you know, didn't sleep well again, but I'm feeling all right. And I'm really relaxed. And I, I'm, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling like this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I'm listening to the monks, and we go to our break.
breakup groups and I participate and I'm, I'm too tired to be neurotic. <laughs> and we're supposed to stay until Sunday. And then I see the Indian guy and he's packing. I was like, what? What's going on? He's like, well, I'm leaving today. I was like, oh. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to miss this guy. <laughs> Friday, and then we get to Sunday, and uh, left, and said goodbye to the Hungarian guys. I'm so self-involved, I, I remember no one's names. But I, was, I realized in my exhaustion, I was like, in retrospect, I was like, oh, I think that was it. I think that might have been the, the spiritual breakthrough. Because I, I felt totally calm and at one with everybody, saying hello to people. <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, <laughs>